cheap play on my say I had to reform my your computer to win this season. This computer is Windows XP so first thing you need to do is put in your CD and get out of that program and then restart your computer to go into BIOS. You will have to change your BIOS settings to boot with CD ROM so that you can install Windows 7. So when it's restarted, press either your BIOS button F2 or delete, and then this should show up. Go across to boot. And then you need to change it to boot with CD ROM. And that's already been done, so it's press exit and save. And press yes. Now restart again. Press any key to boot. So enter or whatever. And it will start loading files. Depending on what CD you got, you can choose what you want to install. Whether it's Windows Ultimate or Home Premium or 32 bit, 64 bit. This process takes about a minute. Just about done. Now we'll start up. Now let's start it up and the setup will shortly begin. First thing you do is choose your language and your area where you live and the keyboard which is normally US. Find English. And just hit next. Get installed now. And the setup will begin. Then you gotta choose what you want. Um whether it's 32 bit, time 86 means 32 bit, and time 64 means 64 bit. So choose whatever one you want. And hit next. And you gotta accept these license and agreements. I just tick the box. Hit next. Now I, you have to click advanced, custom, because that's the proper way of doing it. To clear everything and reformat. And now you gotta choose a disk. This hard drive is not very big. And then you got drive options. And format it so it clears it all and clean installation of Windows 7. Press OK. 
you'll notice that now it says 74 gigs so it's cleared all the, all the space just go ne next now this process takes them probably 20 minutes so I'll quickly skip past it now after that is all done I'll restart and I'll st say set up starting services completing installation now restart your computer and check your video performance and because it's the first time using it in the name for your computer you can always change it afterwards so just any name will do so let's type in user hit, hit next Now yeah, this is optional, but not recommended, so I just click next. This is also optional, you can do it after you've installed Windows. Hit next. Probably best to go imp any important updates, otherwise it's too annoying. Choose your time zone. Hit next. Then I'll find larger settings. Might take some time, but I'll just skip past it. Now computer restart. Windows logo show up. <sighs> and a prepared computer for the first use. So that's all it takes to install Windows 7. Probably that. 20 30 minutes, that's about it. Preparing a desktop. Now, after this, you probably best to go to BIOS again and change it back to bit with hard drive. Otherwise, every time you restart, you start up your computer. You know, always look for CD first because that's your first option so make sure you change it back to your hard drive probably 30 seconds quicker to restart your computer and there you go so thanks for watching